Hi, I'm Ole England and I'm here to help you to understand your ever-tuned equipped Solar Guitar. I'm making a series of videos on how to properly set up an ever-tuned bridge, change strings, change tunings and troubleshooting the bridge itself. In this first video I'm going to explain the different zones of the ever-tuned bridge. Tuning an ever-tuned equipped guitar is slightly different from tuning a regular guitar, but once you have it pinned down, it's a really easy task. Now, the main difference between a regular bridge and an Evertune bridge is that on an Evertune equipped guitar, you don't actually tune the guitar using the headstock tuners. You tune at the bridge using the Evertune key that comes with your guitar. However, it's not as easy as just to put on a string and tune it up at the bridge. It's more like a marriage between setting the tension with the tuning pads on the headstock and the tuning at the individual saddles at the bridge. This marriage contains of three zones and the Evertune itself is active in zone two. Zone two is where you want to be. And I'm going to demonstrate it right here. This high E string saddle right here is in zone one, basically where the string is slacking. Maybe you just put on a new guitar string and you want to wind it up. As we start adjusting the tuning peg at the headstock, you can see that the saddle itself is not moving, but the pitch is going up. This is zone one, okay? As we're turning the tuning peg at the headstock, we're gonna encounter the next zone, zone two. Now, as I'm further winding the tuner, the string stays relatively in pitch and will do so for a lot of turns. And as you do this, you will see the Evertune saddle moving forward towards the neck. This is where the Evertune is active. It's in this zone that if we will want to tune the guitar, we use the Evertune key at the saddle. Note that when in zone two, when you bend the string, the saddle will move. Look at this and the string won't bend in pitch. Now, if you keep on winding the tuner, eventually the string will go sharp. You will see here that the saddle has reached its maximum tension. The more you wind the tuner, the string will raise in pitch. Now, this is zone three. This is where you've gone too far. The Evertune saddle is not active anymore. Stop and go back to the point before you went to zone three, where your string was in tune. You're back in zone two, and when you bend, you bend into zone three. Now here, I will be able to bend, and the string is in tune. Now, this high E string is set up. So, that is an introduction to the different zones and the Evertune on your Solar Guitar. Make sure to catch all of our Evertune-related videos by clicking the playlist in the description of this video. Thank you.